as you've been thinking ahead and as you've been sort of analyzing what already exists, when you think of protopia, which is something you've talked about a lot, not a utopia, but in terms of a protopia, what is your ideal vision for how you see things sort of working out? And what is the worst version of dystopia that you fear? So I just wanted to, for the benefit of the listeners, to kind of run by my definition of protopia. Please. The concept of utopia is sort of well known. It's a mythical place where things are perfect, maybe not super perfect, but they're all in harmony. And there is this glad place where we're in control of our own futures and problems are at a minimum. At the other end is dystopia, which is what most Hollywood movies are about. It's the end of the world, the robots are taking over, rising up and gonna kill us, or we're gonna suffocate ourselves with climate change and then drown. There are a lot of uh, dystopian scenarios. I think neither of those are very likely, but I propose a third future, which is called protopia, and the pro comes from progress, proceeding, pro in being affirmative, prototyping as being in early. And what protopia is, is a slight improvement over today. It's where tomorrow is a little tiny, tiny bit better, but every year is a little tiny, tiny bit better. And that tiny, tiny bit is accumulative and compounded over time. Another part of protopia says that there will be almost as many new problems, solutions, but that the problems propel progress, that the problems are opportunities and that we make progress by having problems and that new technologies will be needed to solve the problems that technology makes and that, that we can't can't stop technology. That stopping is not the solution to the problems of technology. I make one final analogy, which is that technology is kind of like thinking itself. It's a, it's a concrete thinking, it's a thinking out. And that if there is a technology that's dumb or harmful, we would no longer ask ourselves, it's like having a dumb idea. So the proper response to a dumb idea is not to stop thinking or to think less, to have a better idea, to think more. And so the proper response to a dumb or hurtful technology is not less technology or to stop technology, is to have better technology. What we get with better technology and, and new problems made by the better technology is protopia. So your question, which is, okay, what would protopia look like? What would a world of high tech, ubiquitous, artificial intelligence, ubiquitous genetic engineering, ubiquitous surveillance, ubiquitous cities. Can we imagine a world that we actually want to live in with all that? And I think we can. And I'm trying to articulate that, and I don't think I can sum it up right now, but I believe the forces at work over the next hundred years can lead us to a society, a global society. First of all, that would be the first thing I say, is that we are becoming globalized no matter what. No matter what happens between China and the US, we're gonna be more global. No matter what happens with nationalists and others who against globalization, it doesn't matter. This force is way too, it's inevitable, it's way too big. We're gonna make one machine connect our Ourselves together, we'll have a single economy, global economy. We will have less people on the planet. So we have a smaller population, and that requires a kind of slightly different kind of capitalism because so far, all the progress that we have experienced in the world has always been accompanied with increasing population. To have increasing living standards and decreasing population is a whole different game. There's a number of other things where we need or require to have this future that we want. I believe the AIs will be ubiquitous and that we will work with them all the time. And there are a tremendous number of issues and challenges about how we treat them, what role there is, you know, the issues of um, bias. There are a ton of these things, but we will work with them and they'll be present and they'll be plural. There'll be many, 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 many types of um, cognition. And genetic engineering, the same thing. It's a much slower process than people think, you know, they, which is good news because it gives us time to figure out what relationship we want to have with designer babies and <laughs> all the other issues that we'll have. I am projecting in the next 20 years to have to, to this be a boom era of great leap forward. I think that we can work towards a hundred year future that we desire, which would include you know green energy, having clean energy, having clean meat. I think all these work together to actually make a desirable future is my sure answer.